skid. Who is at fault? They are. Who's they? <sighs> the relationships. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. I'm about to really break this one down. It's not individuals. It's the relationships. It's Bob Kraft, Bill Belichick, Tom Brady. That's the problem. It started when Tom Brady was there. Okay. You got to know who the Patriots are. They're greater than a sum of their parts. Individually, in terms of all that talent, you added up, they did more than that. Most teams, you add up all the talent, they do less than that, right? Dallas Cowboys comes to mind, exactly. Many teams I played on, we had more talent than our achievement, not the Patriots. So they had this huge culture and relationship that they all were pulling in the same direction. Now, I remind you guys, mind over matter, especially in football. Football is a great game of skill, greater game of will. What am I willing to do? Well, with the Patriots and the Patriots way, they were willing to do anything more than every other team out there. That's why they were a dynasty. What happened? Oh, I could tell you what happened. But let me, let me not bore you with this. What happened is they started to pull in different directions. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady and his relationships with Alex Guerrero, his relationship with the organization when you draft Jimmy G. Bill Belichick and his relationship with Tom Brady because he drafted Jimmy G and was already trying to get his successor in there. Bob Kraft kind of torn. Hey, I use your agent as my consultant. At the same time, I love you, Tom, but we got to look forward while we look in at the present. And everybody started to fracture in these relationships. So I'm going to hit y'all with a Wileyism that makes this make sense. A man has as many selves as there are individuals that recognize them. Mm, mm, mm. There's an acho. This is some psychologist stuff. There's an acho for me. There's an acho for your friend. There's an acho for mama. There's an acho for the girl you like. There's an acho everywhere. As long as we recognize it. We used to see Tom Brady one way. Belichick used to see Tom Brady one way, then he saw him a different way. And when we talk about when you're playing the game of football, mind over matter, when someone's not seeing you for fully who you are, all of a sudden you start to lose a little bit of the will to do the same thing. It's a competence, still good as hell, but interest conversation. They just collectively lost interest in pulling in the same direction for the same thing. Belichick trying to move on way too early on Tom Brady. Tom Brady trying to ride this out to 45. That's why he's making those statements at 35. Bob Crabb is like, look, I don't give a damn long as y'all just keep winning. I don't care what the pieces look like. And I think what happened is this entire relationship started to dissolve right before our very eyes. And then that materialized on the field to the point of no playoff wins. Damn, you ever feel good? I know you're inside right now, you're feeling good. Because first of all, you look amazing. Then you just said, fire take. And then I'm over here competitive as hell. I'm like, yo, he might have got me right there, but I don't know. <laughs> it was just, you were on a different side. You were in lane two. Mm -hmm. And I looked to the side. I'm like, damn, that take makes sense. As much as I thought, my take made sense. But now let's talk about it. Who's Bob Kraft, the owner of the team? Owner. Who, yep, yeah, owner of the team. What lens does he look at a team man? <laughs> Money? What? What do you mean? How do you get the team? You get the team because you want to win? No, you get the team because you got the money. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm going to stop y'all from fighting, why would I stop y'all from fighting when we winning? Now, Bob Kraft has a different motive right now because he was winning at the bank, and he's always going to win at the bank as an owner in the NFL. But now he's like, yo, we used to win on this field. But I trusted in both of you guys. So if I trust in both of you guys, you know what I do? I don't break it up. I let y'all work that out. And that's what Bob Kraft did. He didn't see this coming. He didn't see that fracture going to that level. He thought, I trust in what you're saying, Belichick, that, hey, Tom Brady's still great. Don't get it twisted. But let's get ready for the next, right? And he was right, because if Jimmy G was in New England, not Cam Newton, not whatever else, you know, Mac Jones and all that, like, they just would have handed the baton off cleanly to Jimmy G. The way that he wins, his moxie, whatever you want to say about Jimmy G, the dude's win percentage is silly. If he were there, Belichick's like, that's what I meant. So then Kraft was like, I'm going to let you work this out. Now, Tom, I'm listening to you. Dog, I already got one dynasty under me, like three or four Super Bowl championships. Can I keep going? And then he's like, but how long, Tom? But yeah, I'm going to let you work that out because there seems to be no signs of slowing down. But there's competing interests. Belichick wants something different. He got a different calendar, maybe wanting the same thing, just a different calendar in terms of when he wants to accomplish it and transition. So if I'm Bob Kraft, when do you break it up? It sounds good now retroactively, but at the time, I think he did what every parent would do. Y'all work it out.